Hey my loves, it's your girl Kiara Simone and I'm back with another video. So y'all, in this video today, I've really been switching it up from the little vloggy vlogs I be doing. I'm gonna show y'all how to get this face, how to get beat like a bat, how to, how to look like that girl, how to look like it girl, because that's the lashes I got on from Sadiddy Medics, per Sadiddy's Cosmetics, book the look, bookie boo. Period, shop the brand because all pretty girls wear Sadiddy. Without further ado though, I'ma just show y'all this video. Um, y'all, this video has been highly requested. Y'all all wanna know like, who do your makeup, who do your makeup, like, how do you do your makeup, what's the steps, like, y'all know I'm an MUS, so I'ma tell y'all, I'm gonna show y'all my look every day. This is not what I do with my clients, y'all, because like I said, this is my everyday routine. Like, it's nothing special. But since it was highly requested, I figured I'd let y'all see what I do, period. In this video, it's gonna be very detailed. I'm gonna be showing y'all the products I use, the steps I use, and even tips throughout this video. So if you like this video, I hope you like this video, because child, I'm gonna lay in this Valentine's Day, honey bookie. I'm also vlogging for that, so y'all tune in for that video that's gonna drop next. But without further ado, I hope y'all like this video. If you like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe. Bye. So y'all, the first thing I like to do is pin my hair back because we don't want any product to get in our hair. So we just gonna pin that back with these little um, clips I got from Amazon. Yeah, so let's just pin this side back too. So okay, we got both sides pinned back. So I already did my skincare routine. So the next thing I like to do when I'm doing my makeup is to just go in with the primer. And if I'm ever looking like down here, my mirror is right here so I can see because I'm not trying to look in the viewfinder which is like right here. So yeah, I'm just looking in the mirror of anything. So my face, disclaimer also, makeup is not like a filter it doesn't like blur any imperfections it don't like any and every imperfection it doesn't do that it's just to enhance your beauty so obviously I have some blemishes on my face dark marks acne you know pimples so don't pin on my that everybody got it but after you do your skincare routine you need to go in with some primer honestly y'all this is my favorite primer it slept on so bad it's so slept on but it's my favorite, it's like my holy girl, I'm not gonna cap. So I like to just go in and put like a couple squirts on my hand. Then I get this and I put it first in my T-zone area. Mind you, I moisturize first and do my skincare routine so my skin is already prepped. I just like to go in with a primer to make sure my makeup lasts. It's like when you build in a house, you gotta make sure the foundation is set first. That's basically what I'm doing here. And I don't know, when you get your nails done, you be tending to like look up and stuff when you put in products on under your eyes because you don't want to poke your eyes out, y'all. So, yeah. And this video has been like highly requested. Y'all want to know how I be doing my makeup because obviously I'm an MUA located in Statesboro, Georgia. So y'all be wanting to know. I forgot my fan, so usually I would get my fan and just go over my face and let it dry. But I forgot it, so we finna go back to the old school ways. When we ain't have a way, you make a way. Period. Go ahead and get the little mirror. But it doesn't have me completely dry if you copy in my um, tutorial step by step because the next step I like to do is I like to go in with a pencil. My pencil I use is from NYX. I like to use NYX pencil. And the shade I use it in, chocolate. So I'm going in with chocolate, but I'm also gonna go in towards the end with one, I think it's ebony. So first, what I like to do is I like to grab a mirror, so just so I can see straight up, and then I go through them and I brush through them like this. I brush upward, I brush all your hairs upward on both sides. Then what else I like to do is I like to grab the darkest shade that I'm gonna use 
and start from the middle of my brow right here and then just draw a line underneath. You know, just shaping your brows right now. This is how I do my brows. So I'm just gonna do one side right now and show y'all like basically how I walk through and do it. So now that I got the line on the top with the darkest shade, y'all, make sure you're going with the darkest shade only halfway and then out. Then I like to brush out and brush down. So now you can see where the hairs meet at right here. Then I like to still with the darker pencil, go on top and do the same exact thing. Okay, and that just defines your brow right there. So I'm gonna go and do the other side right now. And I think it's important to remember that your eyebrows should be sisters, not twins. My eyebrows are two different shapes, y'all. Like, no matter how hard I try to get that situated and how hard I try to get that right, they're two different shades and that's perfectly fine. I'm not shades, shapes. And that's per perfectly fine. They should be sisters or cousins. They should not be twins. These are not twin brows, period. So now we're done with the darkest shade. We're gonna go in with the shade that's lighter, not too light, but still light. You know, the little chocolate, espresso, any, any kind of those shades. And we're just gonna fill in with feather strokes towards the front and then go in through the back and fill in the places where you lined it at. And mind you, we didn't brush through any product yet from the lining because this lighter shade is gonna mix with the darker shade and it's gonna give you like a little ombre effect. You don't want it too dark in the front, but you, don't, you also don't want it too light in the back. So now that you got that, you're just gonna brush through disperse the product all the way through make sure you got the shape that you are wanting for your eyebrows because sometimes I tend to do different shapes on my eyebrows it really just depends on what look I'm going for So now I'm satisfied with how they look right now. Obviously, I'm gonna go in and clean them up. So to clean them up, I go in with like an angled brush like this. And I don't clean up my brows every time because every time they don't, they don't need to be cleaned up. But when they do, and I feel like I did a little too overboard, I like to go in and I just get the concealer the shade I'm using is Deep Olive, um, the 16 hour camo concealer matte finish from e.l.f. Um, again, slept on. This is the concealer I'm using. Um, this is what I do for like every day. Like, this is my everyday stuff. Like, I'm not even capping to y'all. Like, Y'all be seeing my pictures on Instagram. Y'all y'all know that it does what it needs to do. So you just take an angle brush and you just carve out your bottom. And this just really cleans it up, to be honest. Like, you're not doing nothing major. You're not trying to, like... you like, when you do your eyebrows, it don't have to be perfect because you're gonna go in anyway with a concealer and clean up your mistakes. So don't stress yourself out. Like I said, trying to make your eyebrows look like twins because it's no need for all that. So same thing like I did with the right side. I'm gonna go in. And line the bottom out. Then we're gonna drag the product down to make it easier to blend out. When I line my bottom eyebrows, I don't tend to do the top because when I go in with my my foundation, 
somehow it just ends up working in my favor and I don't, I be having to skip that step because it's pointless, my foundation will cover it. Next, I like to go in with like a kind of dense small brush and just buff out that concealer because I tend to notice that beauty blenders, it just, yeah, they, they have small ones, but it's easier to go in with a brush and be as precise as you need to be. You could just, just drag it, honestly, drag it down. Cause like I said, this stuff is gonna get covered anyway. We just want this stuff to define our brows and make sure they know we can do our eyebrows, purr. So this is how the eyebrows look for now. Then the next step I like to do, because I like to work from the top to the bottom. I like to do my eyebrows and I like to work on my base. Then obviously concealer and all that. So now we can get into it. I like to go in with this for my everyday shade. Um, this is my holy grail. I'm not going to cap. I love this foundation. It's the Fit Me More Matte Poreless Normal to Oily. It's in the shade Warm Coconut 356. And basically what I like to do is, when I open it, I like to pour it onto a flat like foundation brush. I like to pour it on here. Let's not get too much, but just enough. Catch it like this. Then when you let it sit for a little bit, you apply it. You just put some everywhere. And remember when you're doing makeup, um, you need to match the makeup with your, your neck. Cause sometimes your body is just completely different colors and that's fine, it's normal. But you need to make sure that you get the um, right color, especially being like a woman of color. You don't wanna look ashy or you don't wanna look too, too dark or too light for your shade. So it's always important to get the right shade. So now that I got it everywhere, I like to go over my problem areas like on my cheeks, on my chin, I like to go over that. I also like to go over it with my concealer, but we'll get into that in a second. So now, after we go into there, I like to go in with a Real Techniques brush. It's really any like, any dense brush, that's a foundation brush. This one has happens to be the Real Techniques 200 brush. And you just go in and make sure you don't drag. You wanna pat it into your skin. So we just gonna pat it like this into our skin. You don't have to put it all the way under your eye. I'm just used to doing that, but you don't have to because you, you're gonna put concealer there. So if you wanna save some products, you don't gotta do that. And you need to always make sure when you go to your neck, you obviously can drag. You need to drag it down your neck so it blends seamlessly and people can't tell that you got makeup on. Make sure you get over here by your sideburns too cause you don't want to look like that person. And y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. And y'all see like the order I did it in because you don't want as much product on your base cause we don't want no thick we don't want no thick base. It's not needed. For the look we going for, it's not needed. So you need to start from the bottom and then work your way up. And this is what I meant by the foundation covers the top of the brow, so I don't need to conceal it. Make sure you get this corner over here by your brow because you want that to blend seamless, seamlessly too get any excess hair out the way. Make sure you didn't miss any spots, y'all. Okay, so now that we got the concealer, I'm, Lord, I cannot talk. Y'all know what I'm saying throughout this video. Now that we got the foundation blended in, foundation on, I like to go in with the concealer I used for under my brow, which was the Elf Camo in Deep Olive. And 
Lately, I've been obsessed with the um, kind of light, bright under eye. So what I do with this one, because I use this all over my face, I just do little lines in my section right here, on my chin, my nose, right here, my T-zone areas, like, and then under my eye on the outer corners, on the outer corner, y'all. And it will like bring my face together because y'all can see what my neck is a little darker. No, yeah, my foundation is like a tad bit darker because it's my kind of summer shade and obviously it's like still cold winter time. So, I like to go in with like a lighter shade obviously for that, but when I blend everything out, it just all comes together and it looks perfectly. Y'all, makeup is a thing that you just trust the process in. So, with an apply concealer with the spots I just told y'all to and then I'm gonna come back to y'all. You do it from like right here, out. You need to leave a little opening spot right here. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so let's go in on the other side and do the same exact thing. Okay, so now that we got our concealer on, we're gonna go in with another shade in that same type of out, um, concealer but this one is the hydrating one this is in the matte finish this is the hydrating one and i like to do this towards the inside right here because that tends to dry out quicker than the other parts so i'm going in with medium warm and when i go in with this shade i'm just putting it in the spots that i missed because if you want to bright under eye you need to put it closer there and then blend that out so we're going to put just a little bit right there we don't want it too light, but you know, light enough. Just like that. Just pop it right in the corner like that. All right, so now that we got our concealer on, what I like to do is I like to wait maybe two, two minutes. Like, I like to wait and let my concealer dry because if you ever notice when you do your makeup, once you wear it a while, it starts looking better. So, we want to wait till our concealer gets a little dry so you can blend it out and the results will look a little better. So, like I said, I forgot my fan. We're just going to go in with this and just fan it just a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. And you need to make sure you don't look completely down because your eyelashes, your bottom eyelashes will get into them. And child, yeah, you can cover it up with mascara, but we just don't want that. Why would we want that? So, we're just going to go in with this. Okay, so I don't do this every day, but for the sake of the video, why not go ahead and do this? While I'm waiting for this to dry, let's go in and go do another part of our face. I'm gonna go in with this, I honestly don't even know what brand this is. Like I said, I use it every day, so it's, it's came off, but it's in the shade F18. It's like a foundation stick, I think, that I just really made into a contour stick. What I like to do is I like to come right here in the middle of my cheek, right here and then just do a dot, dot, dot. Just like that. Other side, dot, dot, dot. Okay, then I like to get the tip of it. Sometimes I like to roll it up some so I can get more product. Get the very tip and go around the nose like that. And then do lines down the nose. Not too many, just two long enough lines because we're gonna we're gonna contour our nose upward that's how we're gonna do that and you know mm, the circles can be a little more defined so i'm just gonna go in again and just put some more product in the middle of the circles period so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna actually blend this out while the concealer is still drying concealer is still drying y'all make sure the concealer is still drying you do not want to go in and just do that. Now, obviously, if you're in a rush, it's nothing against that. You definitely can go in and do that. But this is just what I like to do to get the best looking after face for me. So now, you will go in with like a deep brush. But if you don't have like, if you're not advanced, I recommend 
not splurging all your money on brushes like that like if you're a beginner and just trying to learn like a beauty blender works fine a beauty blender works fine guys you literally can do a full face with one beauty blender and if y'all don't believe me and want to see that in a video challenge me i'll show y'all so basically what you want to do is you want to obviously get a beauty blender and damp it because this is how it is regularly and this is what it is damp do you see the difference you don't want to go in with a dry sponge personally that's not what i do so i like to go in with a damp beauty blender i like to get the side closest to the end or even sometimes i go in with the end it just really depends how I want to do it. Make sure you squeeze the excess water out of it because we don't want this picking up our product. We just want it to disperse it in the places that we want. So with the end or with the side right by the end, we're going to go in and we're just going to blend out this contour. I don't put it on my forehead because you can see like sometimes it gets in your hair too much. So that's what we got powder contour for. Powder, bronzer, all of that. So we're going to go in with this and just blend it out. You just bounce, basically you just pouncing on your face back and forth, just pouncing back and forth. And obviously you can build this up. You don't have to put too little or too, too much at one time. You can build this up. So what I like to do is I like to just put circles like I just did and just blend it out and see what kind of look it gives me. Cause it's always best to start with too little cause you can add on to too little. But when you trying to take away product when it's already on your face, it can drastically mess up your look. So you just want to go in and, you know, do that. Even down here, like I said, I don't really use cream contour like that because, I don't know, sometimes I'm a fan of it, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes you can get the same exact look without it. It's just really not necessary. So with this we're gonna go in sometimes i don't like to go in with the beauty blender when you're doing this but you can go in and you can squeeze it very tightly like this make sure you squeeze your beauty blender really tight you're gonna go in and basically just pat down your nose pat down your pat and drag and you're gonna do it like this to stretch your nose we got like that and did our nose we got a little you know a little darkening going on on our cheekbone i like to then go in with a brush like either or either or brush i like to go in with um honestly why not let's just go in with the smaller one and they have these like real technique brushes it's really any brush that looks like this you can go in with it what i like to do is i like to start in the middle and blend out my concealer like right here first and all we're going to do is just tap it. Tap, 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 tap. Make sure you just tap it, tap the product in. And I like to do this method compared to the Beauty Blender because it doesn't pick up as much product as your Beauty Blender would. So after we blend out above the lip, we're going to go down here to the chin and do the same thing. And if you're wondering why we're doing it in this order, it's because your under eye is lighter and we're gonna drag that product around when we blend it out anyway. So we don't want it to be too, too light around your whole face, but we can do it in this area right here. So next, I'm gonna bring it to my nose and blend out my nose. That little line right there. Same with the forehead. Then, after we're done with that, what I like to do is I like to go in with the Beauty Blender again and just go over your chin and your forehead area. On the outer parts. On the outer harsh lines. We don't want to go in in the middle of it and take away the product that was already blended out. 
Next, what we're gonna do for the under eye, y'all, make sure you start from the end and blend out first. So the first color we put down, we're gonna blend out first. And then we're gonna go in and blend out the lighter color. You don't wanna do all at once. It's, it will give you a good after effect, it will. It will give you a good look. But for the best look, you need to make sure you start on the end, blend out the darker color, and then go back in, blend out the lighter color. And you don't wanna go as far as you blend it out the darker color. If you don't understand what I mean, I'll show y'all that right now. Make sure you blend out the darker. Make sure you go up to y'all. You don't want to drag this product too down. You just want to drag it up. Uh uh. And it's okay if some of the product gets on your brush or if you choose to use a beauty blender. It's so it's perfectly fine. It's not gonna mess anything up as long as it doesn't get along the whole face, that lighter color, because that will wash you out and it'll make you look completely too light and it just won't look right. So do you see how I blended out this and I went upward? You wanna just leave that part right, part right there. Then do the same to the other side. Make sure you start on the harsh edges first. So now, you can go in with a beauty blender or you can go in with the same brush. I'm, for the sake of this video and the sake of not wanting to wash all the brushes, I'm gonna go in with this same brush and now we can blend them out. Don't go too far. We don't really wanna go past our eyebrow tip or our eye right here. We don't really wanna go past here with this lighter product. But like I said, if you do, it's perfectly fine. This is just the technique I like to do. So just blend it out and you wanna drag it up your nose just a little bit. On the side of your nose, you wanna be able to drag it up right here. Like I said, it just gives everything a better effect. Look up when you blend it under your eye. Okay, and then to make sure everything looks seamless, I'm gonna blend it down above my upper lip. So that blends perfectly. So it doesn't look like just two light blotches. Same with the nose. Not too much on the nose though. Then, you know, same thing to the other side. Cause what you do to one side, you need to ensure that you do to the other. For that best look. Okay. Now that we got that, do y'all see the look we get right now? Okay, like I said, makeup is trust the process. Now you need to go in with that beauty blender, blend out the outer corners just like you blended out the outer corners of your chin and just like you blended out the outer corners of your forehead. Those harsh lines, make sure you get them. And we wanna get all of this handled before we set it. Crash lines are on the nose as well. Make sure you get all that. Make sure you still look up. If you have to angle your brush up like this. Okay, and so when you're almost done, then you go in and blend under your eye one last time. Okay. So the next step is kind of crucial. You don't want to wait too long, but you also don't want to like just go in right when it's like freshly wet. So I'm gonna get this um, banana powder. Child, I'm facing it the wrong way. Revolution <laughs> banana powder, and I'm just gonna squeeze it in the top. I know some people say it's not good to do this, but I'm doing it on myself, so I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go in with that bigger brush that I use to blend out the outer eye. I'm gonna go in with that and I'm just gonna tap it in here. Make sure you fully saturate the brush and then you're just gonna tap it out. And the excess powder will come off. And then I like to blow it to make sure it's not too much. Then what I like to do next is I like to pick up my mirror again because I need to see what I'm doing at all times. Start from the inner corner and just tap it all over the eye. You always want to set your cream products. No matter what the cream product was, I don't care if it's cream blush. You need to grow, go in with powder blush and set it. Then I also like to bring it up to my eye just to set it for the brown con the brown powder. I'm just gonna drag up here later when I contour my nose. Okay, so we wanna mattify it. This is how we're mattifying it right now. Now we're gonna do the same to the other side. Dip it in the product, do that, do that, period. All over. Like I said, everywhere you put concealer, you need to go in with powder and set it. If you don't, I swear, your skin is gonna crack so bad. It's gonna like, it's not gonna last throughout the day. It's gonna end up looking oily and you don't want that. So make sure you set everywhere. And I don't know if you noticed, I didn't put concealer along my smile lines. However, I do tend to crease there really bad. So I'm, I'm gonna get some of the product and do the same like I did the under eye, but I'm just gonna drag it on my smile lines. Cause I crease a lot y'all. I crease a lot in my smile lines. So I don't wanna, I don't, I'm not trying to crease today. To, so now that we got we got the product set, we need to go in and set our cream product for our contour. Like I just said, if you set, if you use cream products, you better go in with powder and set it. So what I like to do is I like to go in with an angled brush first, just like this one, angled. Go in with Juvia's Place um, Bronze Bronze. Duo palette. It's in the shade dark because I don't I just feel like it brings color back to my body <laughs> And these are the shades So what I like to do first is I like to just tap into the top one Tap in tap into the top one then I like to tap into the dark one not as much as the top one though and then pat it off then what I like to do is I like to Obviously, you can use the mirror that comes on it, y'all. But peep my setup. Oh my god, it's so messy. Anyway, get the product and at an angle. Just back and forth. You just want to do that back and forth. Because all it's going to do is just bring color back to your face. And you especially want to do that on your nose because the concealer just completely takes over your nose obviously you can go in with a smaller brush but you don't got to sometimes I tend to like to go in with it if I want to define contour but I'm just gonna go in with the same brush and what I like to do is do the same places where I put the cream at hold on front of my eye anyways like I said you're gonna get this after you dip it in Oh, I should have shaved my mustache. Anyway, same place you put the cream. Just drag it. You do want to go slow if you're using a bigger brush like me. 
And then when you got that on your nose, clearly it defined my nose right here. We're just gonna drag it. Just gonna drag it up into our eyebrows where our eye is. That's what we're gonna do for, okay? You can even blend that out a little bit like that. So now that we got that, and don't worry if you ever put too much of this, you can always go in with your beauty blender, your concealer brush, or your foundation brush and blend out some of that product. Now I'm gonna go in with this Morphe palette. Y'all, all my makeup is dirty, like I said, I use it every day. It is the Totally Tan 8T palette. And these are what comes in it. I'm gonna take this shade closest to the end, well, yeah. The middle closest to the end, above the darkest shimmer, and I'm just gonna tap the same brush in it. Obviously, pat it off, go in and do the same exact movement. Do the same both sides, whatever you do to one side, make sure you do it to the other. Now what I like to do is I like to go in with the bigger brush and tap into these two shades, lightest to the darkest. I'm sorry, not the lightest to the darkest, y'all. Left to the right on this palette, above the shimmers, like I said the first time. Just saturate the brush all in this, y'all. I mean all in it. Tap it off still, because we don't want no excess fallout powder. Now what I like to do first is I like to go here, same way that I did the first one, same way I did the first one, but we don't stop there this time. This time we drag it along our um, jaw, Lord, we drag it along our jawbone, whatever it's called, jawline, that's what it's called. We drag it along our jawline and then we do it above, we contour our forehead because we don't put cream product there. Your edges, your lace front, you don't do it. You don't need the product in there. It's gonna mess it up and it's gonna make your style not last as long. So we're gonna just go in with some powder. So like I said, just tap it, tap it, drag it. Okay, get some more. Tap that off, do the forehead now. Just keep going back and back and back and back and back because we want to make sure both sides get some color brought back into it. Okay, and then when you're done, just bring it across one, one, to, two, one to four times. You just want to bring it back across to make sure that your whole face is getting product brought back into it that you know, shows your real color because the concealer really can conceal a lot. And you don't want it, you don't want it to conceal too much because it can do that. So then I'm just gonna go in with this cheap little bronzer palette. Honestly, I don't know the brand. I don't even remember where I got it from. But I'm just gonna go in with that and get the brush that I use for concealer. This part is completely optional. You don't gotta do this. And I'm just gonna pop it into my lids because I want my lids to look a little darker. Like I said, this part is completely optional. You don't gotta do this. And I honestly don't do this every time. I just really just wanted a little color up here because I dried the concealer up here earlier. So we wanna cover that. Okay, so now that the base is done, what I like to do now is I like to go back in with the foundation brush. I like to pat it off on a piece of paper. I honestly don't have no paper near me. So what we're gonna do is we just gonna drag the product on here on the back of my hand to make sure no excess product comes off because we don't need it to come off. Then what I like to do is I like to go in and then just blend out the lines. Blend out the lines where the contour and the concealer meet to make sure it's no harsh line because we don't want that. And y'all, if your nose run, that's perfectly fine because you're literally beating 
your passages like it's it's gonna get irritated a little bit you're gonna your nose is gonna run like your eyes are going to something is going to happen that's completely normal i've been seeing on tiktok where people think they're allergic to makeup products because of that like no y'all it's gonna be inevitable like it's gonna happen regardless so now what i like to do is i like to grab this elf two-sided literally i should be sponsored by elf for this video i take the brow side and i just brush through my brows Sometimes I go in with the darker shade again and fix the tail of my um, fix the tail of my eyebrows because sometimes when you blend out your makeup, it'll take away from the eyebrows. So if it did take it away from y'all's face, make sure you just go back and redefine that line because that's what you want to do. Now I see a little trouble area, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this beauty blender. And I'm just gonna grab the setting powder again. Like makeup is really just trial and error. I'm just gonna tap, tap the top lightly, blow it off, and then just tap on your eye. And then my eye creases a lot. And sometimes the brush just doesn't get it as good as you need to, because I don't like to put too much powder on my eye. I don't really like it to look powdery. So I'm just gonna go back in and reset that with the same um, setting shade. And bring it back to my nose because it don't look like it was in my nose ever. So now that we got that there, we're good. Okay. Then y'all, what's next to do is first i like to do my lips because i really feel like y'all your lips make your face and i'm looking around y'all i forgot my lip liner that is so ghetto but it's okay i'm gonna just go on with this like oh this little lip thingy and i'm just gonna grab the contour shade i'm just gonna brush this along it uh, and then I'm just gonna put it on the same way I would put a liner on. Y'all, this is honestly what I do to my clients. <laughs> I grab a disposable thing and I just grab the darkest concealer shade or Basically, whatever look I'm going for, I just grab it in concealer. Y'all, you can also do it with eye, um, eyeshadow too. Now, me personally, I feel like lip gloss and lashes make or break your look. Like... Now we're gonna grab, I like to grab e.l.f. Honestly, this shade probably is discontinued. It's in blushing brown. It's literally all messed up. I love it for my face. It's what I do every time I do my makeup. I just tap it in the inner part of my lip. So all I'm gonna do is just tap it, tap it lightly in the inner part like this. So now that I'm back, I then I go in with my Sadiddy Cosmetics. Purr. You wanna go in with your Sadiddy boo? Sadiddy. So I'm gonna go in with this. And I'm just gonna tap it in the inner. Y'all, it smells like cookie dough. Yep, you just want to keep it in the center, y'all. Make sure you keep it in the center. Then I like to go in with this Butter Gloss Cream Brulee is the shade. I like to go in with this and then mix it in the middle, too. So 
Sometimes I like my line to be a little darker. It's not really giving dark right now because I forgot my lip liner. So, I mean, this, it look okay, but I like it to be a little darker sometimes. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with our Duo Lash Glue. We're gonna also go in with our Sadidis Cosmetics Lashes in the shade It Girl. Cause what better name for what better person besides It Girl? We're gonna open it up and get our lashes out. They are so freaking pretty. So what we're gonna do, because I have nails on, it's kinda harder to grab the lashes. I'm gonna grab it with the tweezer. So we're just gonna do one right now because the quick or the better. So we're just gonna go in with this lash glue. Just like this. And we're just gonna line it. Get a little bit of glue. I be so focused. My mouth stay open when I'm focused. That is so aggravating. Y'all probably went through this whole video like, what happens my mouth open? Okay, so now that we got one lash right here, we're gonna put the glue down in one hand, still clutching onto that lash, y'all. We're gonna grab the other one. We're gonna grab the other lash. And what we're gonna do is the same for this one. We'll grab a little bit and put it on the edge. put it on the edge. I definitely meant put it on the lash line. Oopsie daisy. So while we wait, period. I wanna know what other videos y'all wanna see from me. Cause, yeah. Ooh, chat. Period, don't play inches per. So my thing is with lashes, you don't wanna wait until they're completely dry. You kinda wanna get them when they're tacky. So I'm just gonna bug because honestly, y'all, I'm running late. Like, it took me a while to get all my stuff in here and get the setup that I wanted because the other room was not cute, so I had to come in this one. It's just a lot, y'all. So I'm just gonna fan this. Purr, 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 purr. Honestly, let me go ahead and spray my face. I'm gonna just go in with my Morphe Continuous Spray. Um, I use this every time I do my makeup. I use this on all of my makeup clients. Just go in and spray. Whew, honey. And if you do it too close like I just did, make sure you dry your face first. Cause if you open your eye, honey, it might just seep in your eye and burn you. You don't want that. You don't want that. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I'm so slow. Okay. Let's spin the eyelash too while we're doing it. Okay. Who child? I thought that gonna seep in. We're just gonna go in. And I have nails, so it literally makes everything two times harder, y'all. But I'm just gonna go in with my mirror and my lash and just. So y'all, basically that's it. I just took those um, clips out my hair and I'm packing up and stuff. And I completely forgot that I just started wearing um, blush. But first I'm just gonna go in with some highlight because I'm gonna be in the sun today. And I need to shine light like a sun. Like I'm literally singing in all my videos at this point and I can't say I'm just going in with this Juvia Place um, Blush Ruji Volume 3 and I'm just gonna mix really the top one and a hint at the bottom one just that I'll smile period so you see a little blush action um, if you put too much though like I just did 
if you do too much blush like i just did just go on with your foundation brush well it's not too much but like i said i just started wearing it so it gotta really grow on me and i don't want that much on so yes let me get the hair right for y'all Alright y'all, purr, I need to charge my battery because I'm finna go on a picnic. Bye, bookable.